Fort Erie, Ontario is an international gateway connecting Canada to the United States to the tune of nearly 5 million travelers per year. It is an indispensable shipping link that also sees an average of 10 to 15 trains of cargo crossing to and from the US every day. With such a high volume of cross-border movement, sufficient infrastructure needs to be in place to handle it. And one such piece of infrastructure in downtown Fort Erie has met its expiration date, the Central Avenue Bridge. The bridge is located above the CN rail lines that lead to the International Railway Bridge, and eventually, the United States. A bridge replacement of this scale typically requires a six-month shutdown of the roadway to allow for demolition and reconstruction. With this location being of such importance, six months just won't cut it. In the three weeks allotted for the complete replacement, the old bridge was taken out and a new bridge was built to the west. Now they'll only have one day to move that new bridge into place. When you need something this massive moved in that short a time, there's only one call to make. The experts in rapid replacement, Western Mechanical. It's a sweltering afternoon in the dog days of summer, and it all comes down to this. The new 115 meter Central Avenue Bridge will need to go in this weekend. Traffic has come to a halt on Central Avenue, awaiting the relocation of the new bridge. Western's engineers have studied the site and devised an ingenious plan. They'll jack the bridge up slide it into place using a specialized hydraulic rail system. So this is our gripper system. It can work in both directions. In the lock position, down, the cylinders extend and it just actually grips on the T-rail. There's like a set of teeth in there. It clamps down. Then when it retracts, it just slides along. It's spring-loaded, so it'll just back off, slide along, and then grip again when it starts putting pressure against it. With this new bridge weighing in at an immense 5 million pounds, Western will need an intense amount of precise pushing power to get it moving. This is our hydraulic unified jacking system. This will slide the bridge. We have high-precision wheel encoders running on piano wire down underneath the bridge, and they will give us a position feedback within about a one hundredth of a millimeter tolerance. So as the encoders roll forward, the bridge rolls forward. If one zone starts getting faster than the others, it will, it will throttle the valves back to slow the, the valves down. We're trying to keep the bridge within four millimeters at any one point during the slide today. It is incredibly precise. We're moving well over five million pounds and we're trying to move it to within, let's say a millimeter and a half. I like a jacking system, it's just a new development for us. We can run up to like a 300 mil stroke, all encoded, all uh, electrical sensors, so the guy up on the power pack knows you're doing a 300 mil push, he knows that the bridge is moving, and we know it's running completely true, that we're not deflecting, pushing, going to crack anything or push anything. Before work begins, the crew has a critical safety talk to make sure everything goes off without a hitch. Anybody can say stop at any given time. If there's an issue, somebody sees something, somebody say stop, we're going to stop. I think we're going to have a really good push. We had a nice test yesterday, so let's all be safe. Yep. There we go. With the gripper system all set up and the safety talk fresh in everyone's minds, the crew begins to shift the bridge eastward. We're good to go. We'll let the brakes off and we'll start our procedure. Western will have crew members strategically placed throughout the job site, monitoring for any discrepancies during the big slide. Okay guys, so uh, Andrew wants to start with two six inch pushes, and then he's gonna jump to the 300 mil automatic. The bridge slides along 300 millimeters at a time stopping only to allow a convoy of international rail cars to pass. Then it's right back to the job at hand. Okay, rolling 300 mil, 300. 10-4, copy that, full automatic. Okay, 
We're still going another 100 mil, guys. Just so everybody's clear, 640 mil, we're gonna come into a stop on the closest position, which is 50 millimeter away from our mark. We're gonna do some final measurements and we'll decide what's gonna happen after that. Okay guys, we'll stop there right across so you guys can go ahead and do your measurements now. Three, two, three, and then it'll be another 40 mil push after that. Coming to another 40, another 40 mil. Moving, Scotty? We moving? Millimeter by millimeter, the new Central Avenue Bridge slid into place. And after five hours, the bridge has finally settled in to its new permanent home. Today we had a really strong team from Western, good engineering from our team, uh, good programmers, good millwrights, uh, all around good uh, team of tradespeople. So all in all it was a very, very good day. 